Wow, this melon is great. Oh, that one's too hard. Oh, just right. <laughs> What's up? We're at 178 North. Carmelina out. Walk with me, because we're always under the clock. This one, I haven't even shot the video of yet. So you guys are literally the first people walking through here. So you know, with houses in the front of houses, it's not always, of course, they look nice from the street, but there's no real sitting area in the front of houses yeah. a lot. That's one of the things that they've mastered in the, in the architecture in this property is there's many different pockets to sit. Like this is just as romantic sitting here as it is in the back. You got the fountain there too, it's just, oh. it's nice. That's Seriously. like a staple, you gotta have that fountain. All right, come on in, let's check this out. So oh. you come in, yeah, I know, right? Every house smells good in, Brent, <laughs> yeah. in Brentwood. This house smells great. God. Look at these amazing doors, hand carved, love them. This design, this original Spanish, happens to have in some of the rooms really high ceilings that I love. So Mark Appleton was one of the top 100 architectural digest designers of the past 20 years. This is not his house, but he designed the house. Anyways, I love this room. This room is what makes the house. So Mike, please take a seat. Yeah, so you're coming from working for the Altman Brothers. Tell me about that, Mike. Great experience, great experience. Learned a lot, time is money, time is money. <laughs> escrow, 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 mm, mm, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that, so that's basically what you learned in the uh, decade of being with the Altman Brothers. Yes. Okay, yeah, sounds like you're pretty qualified for nothing. <laughs> Over here, we got this incredible dining area. Now, I love this because these are the old original windows that are, they're special. It's super romantic, you're sitting in the dining room, and of course you got that. You don't know, oh, this guy? Yeah. Are you serious? That's uh, <clears throat> Dude. It's, uh, it's George Burns. George Burns. Everybody knows that. Come guys. on, man. It's George Burns, <laughs> George dude. Burns. Duh. <laughs> I love the arches in here. Believe it or not, this originally was the dining room, what I'm about to show you. They actually turned it around, made that the dining room. They turned this into yeah. a sitting area. Now, I like that. Amazing, right? Oh, is that a double-sided fireplace? It is, but you can't, it's, you can't see through. Right, right, right. But this is all the original design here. Like for me, this, is, this just feels romantic. Wanna play a quick game? Yeah, what do you got? Okay. Okay. All okay. right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Um, check me. <laughs> you beat me again. Uh, you want, I'm going to admit something right now. I don't know how to play chess. Checkers, love it. King me all day. You know what I would be for chess? I would be the consigliere. <laughs> so like, like I would be the guy next to the guy playing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, it, just, just my poker face the whole time. Yep. You're going down. All right, so anyways, love this room. We're gonna check out the outside in a little bit, but first, let's check out one of the most special parts about this house. This is where the family hangs. You got this awesome kitchen right here, this little breakfast nook area, and then you got this built-in, it almost is like that Adobe style, and all of these windows lead out to the pool. Yeah. Like every house has the room, this is the room. It's got a nice feng shui to it. Feng shui. Feng shui. What part, what part of the feng shui of this house do you like, Mike? <laughs> Don't worry about it. He's like, the feng shui is how I feel, not yeah, how it's, the in, it's what's on the inside. I have had a feng shui expert kill a $12 million deal for me about six months ago. So that feng shui-ness cost me 2.5% of $12 million. I was going to feng shui his ass. <laughs> It's weird because since then, no one's been able to find that feng shui guy. <laughs> so this is cool. Uh, YouTube, what do you think that is right there? Uh, I think, is it a, maybe it's a fr something that, no, nah, don't mess with yeah, it. Yeah, let's, uh, let's move on. Don't mess I with like it. I like it, I like it though. And there's nothing as good as like a good butcher's block in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> what type of meat you want? Yeah, yeah, this is serious. I like it because it moves out of the way too. You got beautiful warming drawers in here as well. 
This is a very cool room. Yeah, this is one of the currently four bedrooms. You can have it as five bedrooms, this house. It feels a lot bigger than it actually is. Just under 5,000 feet, but really sizable. And the lot at 15,000 complements the house. Are you gonna keep that up here? This mustache? Yeah. I don't know, maybe. What if you just took everything off but the mustache? I can't do that. I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it? <laughs> be all nose. Why, do you think you'd look like an ass? <laughs> All right, so this oh, is a master boy. bedroom. I love this master for so many different reasons. You got the Man. vaulted ceilings. Look at these beams. Beautiful, original beams. This fireplace. This is awesome. Isn't this cool? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is original. It actually sets the mood for this master. You got that nice long approach. Approaches in the master are always very important. You got uh, two bathrooms, two closets. Even though it's an old school original, still oh. got the cool stuff you want in your house. This is, uh, what do you think this is, Mikey? Well, it, look, it looks like a, some kind of bidet or something. That's, that's it, that's yeah, a bidet. Yeah, but this, is, this should be a little bit further back, no? Do you know how you sit on a bidet? You sit on like this? That's it. That's is that it. how you do it? Yeah, that's how you do it. So it's all one level living, except for this room. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so this is cool up here because it's another office. You got kids, it's a great playroom. Look at all these little windows, yeah, I love those. so cool. They all open, you get some nice airflow through here. Oh, also, we have been getting a lot of fan mail. People asking, is Mikey single? Yes. <laughs> what do you think this mustache is all about? <laughs> so creepy. Mikey sends me a video the other day. He goes, Josh, I was, I was at a restaurant. Some, uh, some girl came up to me. She said, she's a big fan of mine, of him. That's what he's saying. And so there's a video of him calling that girl's mom till Mikey decides to use this line. Hey, yeah, you know, maybe I'll break into a million dollar listing with your daughter and we'll hang out. That's not what I said. Bro, oh really? I said, I said, I tell you, <laughs> I said, I tell you what, when you get here from England, you and your daughter and I will go on a tour of million dollar listings. I don't have the keys, so I'll have to break in. Never mind. <laughs> All right, let's go out back. Let's check out the romanticism of this backyard. So this is cool. We actually, we had the uh, owner do this because I love this at a past Spanish house that I had in original Spanish. We just hung the lights. So when we show this at night, it gives kind of that very sexy. Yeah, you know, they light it up. Yeah, so, that's a good word. Yeah. I mean, it's a sexy, just sexy. area. When in yeah. doubt, just say sexy and people are like, oh, oh. ooh, ooh. So this is a great romantic area. Now what's cool about this and the way that this house was designed, the Appleton design, is that this is your outdoor dining, but it's also the center of the property. So you have kitchen, master, living, all doors opening up to here, which, you know, is kind of the vibe. Oh yeah. And that's nice. You gotta realize the dirt alone here, which is, let's just say I just sold you the dirt. No house was here. I mean, look, you're spending six and a half, seven million dollars anyways. We're on the market for nine and a half million for all of this. And wait till I show you the guest house. I love it out here, man. Yeah, isn't this nice? Yeah. This is what we call the Mikey Rossi part of the house, AKA the additional dwelling unit, the ADU, the, hey boss, what are you doing? Is it cool if I stay over for a couple <laughs> nights? And then one year later, he's still there. <laughs> hey boss, you mind if I just borrow your car keys? One year later, he still has your car, then he sells it, then he doesn't pay you the profit on it. That's, that's what happens here when you have Mikey. Oh, there, there we go. go. Oh yeah. Yeah, so this is a full guest house, living, Bedroom, bathroom, kitchen. Wow. You cannot create this again, by the way, permit-wise. You have a separate entrance. This is beyond the mother-in-law suite. This is, why don't you have your own house and you know, you can rent this out. It's really crazy. Got a nice bachelor kitchen in here. Oh yeah, I'm moving in here. Mm-hmm. So you got a great kitchen, bathroom, and then you got your own bedroom over here. I love the floor too. You know, you know what this floor is called? No. Satillo tile. I L L O. Satillo. Satillo tile. Satillo tile. Yeah, I had a, uh, an original Spanish up in the Hollywood Hills and it was all Satillo tile. I remember and, that. Uh, oh, you, this is. A... Listen, I don't remember all the houses that I've lived in. <laughs> You're definitely not going to. See, in the Altman household, we fall in love with the house every single week. Like the mortgage broker when I'm buying a house, uh, so would you like a 30 year fix? I'm like, 30 years? We're out of here in 16 months. <laughs> What's the shortest thing you got? Uh, anyways, beautiful. Uh, guest house. Real quick, guys. I was on daddy duty this morning. Oh, yeah. Get it in. Get it in. in. Get it in. Get it in. in. Ah, yeah. Who gonna sell this house today? Josh gonna sell this house today. Who gonna sell this house today? Josh gonna sell this house.
Do we need to come up with a new song because we've been doing that one for about a decade? That would have been bad. I think if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, that's it. That's it. What do I you love think? it. I love it. On a scale of one to 10, Mikey Rossi, what does this house get? I'm going with a 10. A 10? Yeah, I'm going with a 10. A 10? This might be my favorite one that we've done thus far. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment. In the meantime, uh, got warm out here. Thinking about taking off my vest. <laughs>